Hey guys, this is Jamrin guys. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about one way binding. This is simple application that uses level that is a bindable one. So in order to create such type of project, let's create our new Jamrin forms.net standard project. Then here I have set main page as my login page that is defined inside my views folder. You can see over there one way dot views. This is my view folder that I have made by right clicking on it and then adding a new folder and naming it to as views now let us add a new file and selecting xamarin forms xaml page then i have I added login page dot xaml this is my simple stack layout you can see over here where i have added level as username and level as password and here the binding is done from my user dot username and my user dot password that means this is our receivers now what we will do is that we need some source so let us do all the binding contexts that are defined inside my xaml page will be calling all its content from the given view model so let us create a new view, view model folder and then create a new class name as login login view model you can name anything you may like but as a convention we are going to name it as login view model now this is our source provider then all the source will be binded over here as login view model that means all the binding contexts that are defined inside the xaml part of login page will be receiving all its content from login view model class as its source now let us create a model we don't want to mess up all the codes inside our view model that's why we are going to implement a model class let us give it a name as my user now let us introduce some properties which we will be calling inside our view model let us type prop and double tap it then we can define a given string as username and then for a given password also let us type probe and double tap it and give it as a password now we'll be calling its properties from our given view model now we'll tell our view model that we have already created my user class inside model and we'll be assigning a given variable for that and this variable will get and return all the values that is present inside it let us return the given variable and then set it and then the variable should return the some values inside it now from my user model this my user will contain all the properties that are defined inside my model class so let us call that properties as username as xamarin guy and then password anything you may like these are some static values that means this is our source which will be called towards the destination that is our login page dot xaml here my user dot username contains the username that is xamarin guy and my user dot password will contain the respected password but our view doesn't know anything about it that's why we are going to bind it as you can see over here login page dot xaml here we are going to bind it as my user dot username and then my user dot password so that it could take the static value from the given source that's all Let's build and run our project whether it gives us correct output or not. Cool, we got our expected output. That's all. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Keep in touch for more advanced tutorials in next sessions.